Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Sammy Plans, and if you're new here, welcome. I am so glad that you are here joining us today. Today, I am going to be setting up my quarter one goals page in my Moxie Life flagship planner. So if that sounds like fun, grab a snack, a drink, and your planner, and we'll jump right in. All right, you guys, so I already have created this page in my planner and what it is, it's just a dot grid sheet of notebook paper that I actually got from an Erin Condren notebook that I had lying around and I just used some adhesive tape and stuck it down on um, this side of my planner. So this is for the January calendar opens up too and then I just decided to stick this here and I decided to save some time I would already draw out the boxes for my quarterly goals and just get this page set up so all I have to really do is write and talk about each of these goals um to start out what quarterly goals are to me are that they're just those chunked out goals for my annual goals that I'm focusing on in this quarter. So from January to March. And then I break those down even smaller for my monthly goals. And then those get broken down smaller into my weekly actions and daily habits. And so I'm gradually working towards these, which are ultimately working towards my annual goals. And so as you can see, I have eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight quarterly goals that I want to focus on this quarter. Um, I actually also got this idea from Plan With Lakin. She has done quarterly goals forever and she always shares them and it's been such an inspiration. And last year I tried it out having quarterly goals and I felt like it just helped with that breaking it down system when it comes to goal setting and so I've implemented it into my own goal setting and so these first two boxes they're yellow so they're for personal I used my moxie markers to create this page and I'm going to be using the moxie gray moxie marker to be filling in these. And so the first goal for personal is to read 12 books. And the math there is I'm wanting to read a book a week. And in three months, I should have 12 books read. And so that is my goal because I want to ultimately read 52 books this year. And so I'm hoping that's where I'm at by the end of March. We will see. And I'm really not too hesitant about this. Just because I know I might not have a lot of time during the school year to read. But during the summer I should give myself a little bit more time. And so whatever I don't get done now, I, don't, I know I can get done in the summer. Um, the next goal for personal is to establish a p.m. routine. Um, I've been talking about this a little bit, but I am focusing more on my nightly routine than I am my morning routine because I feel like my morning routine is more just the steps of getting out the door to start our day, where the evening can be more intentional, how I use my time, and things like that and so as we are getting into the second third fourth week of the year I feel like I'm finding my groove and what I want to prioritize and what can be put to the side and how many times a week I do things and just things like that and so I'm really excited to see how that evolves for fun and recreation the thing that I have is to go to Disneyland because we are doing that next month and that is a quarterly goal because part of my goals for the year for fun recreation is just to have fun in natural and fun ways and one of those is to have a family vacation <coughs> excuse me 
excuse me. And here is our family vacation. So I'm super excited for that. Um, and I'll talk more about that as it comes up. The two red boxes are for work and learning. So the, f the first one is to apply for jobs. Um, we are getting to that time of year in education where teaching positions for the next school year are starting to pop up. And so I want to just start applying as soon as I can in hopes that I can get a high school position somewhere within my district or if needs be another district. We'll just see where it takes me, but I am going to start applying for jobs as well as research master programs. Um, my goal is to have my idea of what I want for my master's um, set up by the end of March so I can apply and get that ready so I can get start on my master's, master's degree this summer. So I need to research some programs. I know I want to for sure do it online and so I'm looking at online options and just what is available to me and what's going to benefit me the most in the long run. Um, for health and wellness, that's this like bluish teal color. Um, I want to lose 12 to 24 pounds and I'm putting a like buffer zone I guess you could say around that just because this is like the beginning of a health journey and so I don't want to set my goal too low but I also don't want to set it too high but I really don't know what is doable or like a good goal and so I'm going to put a buffer this time <coughs> And then kind of see where that takes me. I know in my January goals, I wanted to lose eight pounds just in January. And I can already tell you on January 9th that that's not as realistic as I was thinking it was going to be. And so that's why I have this buffer zone. And then maybe I can make a definite number the more I do this. Um, for spiritual... I want to just visit our temple and just have some peace and time to reflect there. And then for um, financial, my goal is to complete my quarter one, no spend. Um, if you're new here, I am currently on a no spend year when it comes to like planner stuff and so I'm trying to limit the planning supplies and planners that I purchased in 2024 and so far it's been really good I'm really proud of myself um but like I said it is only January 9th so we'll see where this takes us but I'm feeling really good about that especially since I took the time to look through all my stickers and make a schedule for the whole year of how I'm going to use what I already have. And so that's helped me visualize and see that I have enough for the whole year. Um, but these are my quarterly goals for the next three months. I'm super excited about them. And I, like I said in the beginning, this is just another great way to break down your annual goals. Just a little bit smaller than to help you break down in into your monthly goals and then so on and so forth and so if you haven't tried monthly goals or excuse me quarterly goals before i definitely recommend it um but anyways let me know down in the comments below if you have ever set quarterly goals or what is one of your current quarterly goals for the year um, or this quarter, I guess that would make more sense. Sorry, my brain's a little foggy still because I'm getting over whatever sickness crap that I've had um, for the past almost week now. But I also wanted to add, going back to my no spend, um, if you are wanting to do a planner 
type no spend challenge and this washi tape is what reminded me um because um if you are familiar with cindy gutenbaldo or llama letters over on instagram and youtube she is doing a use your own shit challenge <laughs> and so she's giving everyone a challenge every month and the January challenge is to use one roll of washi and so my goal is to use this celebrations collection washi from Christian Designs just because this is specifically for um this year and so I thought it'd be super fun to just have this washi plastered all over my January spreads and just pages and so that is what that is and she's actually challenging herself to use three rolls of washi so if you're big into washi and you have a lot of it I would definitely recommend that but I don't really use a lot of washi but I have a lot of it and so I really think that just starting out with one is a great way to use our stuff so we are not buying other stuff that we're not going to use but anyway that was a total tangent but I just wanted to share that um, so you can go follow her and her journey of no spends and how she is implementing using her stuff in 2024. But anyways, you guys, um, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful in any way. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my planning content here on YouTube. And until next time, guys, I'll see you all later. Bye.